greasy breakfast don't help. What'd you eat for breakfast? Spam. That we sounds delicious. And, uh, what are those eggs called? Oh. Those are you cook them on one side and you flip them on the other side without breaking the yolk. Over easy. Uh, yeah, but both sides are uh, covered uh, over. Yeah, it's over easy. Set aside up is the one that has um, one side. One side has together. like yeah, the other one's like kind of bare. It has like the, you can see the yolk. Yeah. Over easy is you're both covered in white. Oh, what? Are they selling puppies or giving them out for free? Hey everyone. So um, the Morph and I are driving to school. To school. Uh, he's going to school and I'm recording him um, for a film I'm making for one of my film classes. So. I just thought I'd show you guys that. And also, I'm gonna go to the mall later with my mother, so that'd be kind of fun. I might do a haul or something. And he's gonna help do, we're gonna do an outfit of the day. Well, I'm gonna do it, and he's gonna record it, so that's possibly why I'm recording. But I thought I would do this. I haven't vlogged in a while, or I never ever vlog. And the only time I've ever vlogged was at the, we went to Free Press, and when we went to. Vlogging is so cool. Vlogging, not vlogging. Um, so quickly, I am wearing a gap de denim jacket, um, a Zara tank tee kind of thing. Um, these shorts I got from Target, they're really, really comfy. They're, I know it looks like a skirt, but they're actually shorts, which is kind of weird. But I like the way they look. And then my shoes are Leonelli. Chinelli? I don't know, some Italian brand, I can't remember what exactly their name. And then I'm wearing my Rebecca Nikoff pack bag, which I love. Oh, and my glasses are covered, like I said in the last video. Um, Jewelry-wise, I am wearing Michael Kors watch. Um, I got this at Gab, and I don't remember what it is. And I also got this from Sylvia's, the boutique I work at. Evil eye bracelets. <laughs> and then all my fingers. I'm wearing this ring, um, and then this thing I got. You should tell them how your dad made it. My dad made me this, but we're gonna paint it gold because I think it looks cool, gold. But that's it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I told him we could do it after the day, but he probably won't want to. I really like what he's wearing, but he doesn't want to clean. So that's it. Look what he's wearing. I don't know where his pants are from. I think they're from Paxson, and his shirt is from Gap, and his shoes are Adidas. They're like hemp or something like that. And so unfortunately we won't get to go to the mall today, but um, I do have a lot of things to do. So I'm um, still on campus, but um, my mother's gonna pick me up right now um, because we're gonna go run some errands, probably get our nails done, and um, what's it called again? Um, get some stuff from Sally, just a beauty supply store, because my sister's best friend is getting married today, um, and we're gonna I'm gonna do her makeup, her makeup, and also some of the bridesmaids. I'm gonna do their makeup. So. I'll try to record some of that. Hopefully, sorry. Hopefully, um, I get some of it because it might be kind of crazy. Maybe like one of the girls can record, but um, hopefully it pans out pretty well because I'm not quite too sure. I'm not sh too sure like what's gonna go on. So um, today is gonna be kind of crazy. So stay tuned. And then I might want to finish up. Like I might not go to the wedding. So I don't know. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Um, if you guys don't know already, this is my sister. This is part of my little vlog of today. And she's going to her best friend's wedding. So I'm just going to do her eyes really quickly. I'm not going to do her whole face because she's going to do that later.
as the drinks arrive Just as they play your favorite songs Your belly disappears No one will wind up like a spring Before you I had too much Come back and focus again The walls have been in shape They got a Cheshire cat grin All blurring into one This place is on a mission so um, I'm laying in bed right now and all the girls left to go to the wedding already and I'm really tired now I'm doing um, I did uh, you only have to see my sisters but I did um, two other girls make up um, so I did three girls in total and I'm just really pooped now um, but I think my boyfriend and I might go to the movies in a bit so I might record us in the car of course I can't show you the movie because I would be totally illegal <laughs> but um yeah I think that's pretty much what I'm gonna do today I might go to TJ Maxx later if I get bored but other than that that's pretty much it um so I'll see you in the car to go to the movies so my eyebrows look really really thick today but I kind of like them that way <laughs> I just got this drink in, and I don't know what this is. Abel got Coke slushy, like always. It's Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper slushy? I don't know how they make those. Well, apparently they do. Oh, anyways. So, I got this Neuro Bliss. It looks pretty cool. Drink smart. The bottle looks cool. Drink and it's all shit. natural flavors. The bottle looks really cool. It's supposed to help reduce stress, enhance mood, support memory and promotes a positive outlook. I don't know how a drink can do that. That's like the psychology of the mind. We're just here at Stripes. But we're going to, um, look at my ugly bruise. So ugly. This is what I get for going on your four-wheeler. Anyways, we're going to, um, the mall finally. I didn't, I was, I didn't think we were going to get to go, but, um, I think we're going to go now. So we were going to go see that movie, The Raven. I love John Cusack, so we were going to go see that, but I think we're going to see that tomorrow maybe, because I kind of just want to go shopping. I don't really want to stay inside, because it's kind of nice. So we're going to go there. Right, Abel? Yeah. <laughs> see you soon. Hey, everyone. So I'm um, sorry for the late update but this is the end of this vlog I'm just gonna quickly show you what I got um, today at the mall um, I went to the Chanel counter and I needed to pick up another powder sorry if my skin it looks really weird but um, so I just picked up another one of my um, universal compact it's a powder um, this was in shade 2 and I really like this one compared to the other powder because the other powder is really thick and kind of Mm, how do I say this? It's it's just, it's too, like it has too much to it. Like when I apply powder to my skin, I just want it to kind of freshen me up and not really add anything to it. So um, the other one is quite pigmented and I don't really like that about that. This one's actually translucent, but it, when it says, it's not really like insanely translucent. Like it still gives you a little bit of coverage, but it's not like a cakey coverage. I'm not explaining it, but that's, this, but I don't know how to explain it. But um, this is a powder I do keep in my purse at all times because it's a really great powder. So while I was there at the Chanel counter, I told one of the girls there that I wanted to try that, try out the Vita Lumiere Aqua foundation. Um, so she gave me um, a couple of samples of it, but because I have oily skin and she was talking to me about it, um, so I want to try those out. But because I told her about my oily skin and she also noticed that I had all these oily skin, she recommended me to try out the, um, I'm sorry the Lumiere Perfection and not the matte, which first she did tell me about the matte, but um, she said that it might be too matte for my skin, which I really didn't believe her when she said that because I've played with it a bit and I really don't think it's that matte or that mattifying, but she told me to try out the Perfection, which is this one, and so she gave me a sample of it to try out. Um, so I'm going to try out these two foundations, the um, Vita Lumiere Aqua and then also the Vita Lumiere Perfection or something like that. I think that's what it's called. But um, I'm going to try those two out because I really do want to try one of their foundations. I just had heard a lot of really good things about the Vita Lumiere Aqua. So um, I definitely want to try that because I've heard good things about it. Even people who have oily skin say it's really nice. So 
Uh, I'm kind of skeptical, but I want to try it out. And then she also gave me a sample of the LeBlanc um, from Chanel because she was talking to me forever about it. And I felt kind of bad because I, I know how expensive the Chanel um, skincare products are. So I was kind of like, I know I'm not going to buy them because it's just really out of my price range, even for skincare. Um, so she gave me a sample of it anyway. So she gave me the LeBlanc, um, what is this called? The LeBlanc... Um, cream and okay she gave me the pamphlet talking about it and it has the prices of the of the product the one she gave me is a moisturizer um it's a brightening moisturizing cream and it says it intensi intensifies dark sparkle it says intensifies dark spot correction um, offers optimal hydration and provides immediate comfort um it has a pearl protein extract for 1.7 ounces it's $130 that's insane like insane um so I did the math and my boyfriend did the math and this is 0.17 ounces this is for this sample size of that cream is roughly $18 that's insane so I'm gonna try it out but I really hope I don't like it because that's an insane habit to buy $130 moisturizer. That's kind of crazy and kind of a little bit eccentric. I don't think, I mean excessive, I don't really think that's necessary. Especially having really oily skin, I don't really need as much moisturization. Most of the time my foundation gives me really good moisturizing, moisturizing quality. Especially like when I use the um, Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer or the BB cream by Neutrogena that those those type of formulations because they're more hydrating is all the hydration I need I don't really need any kind of cream on top of that so yeah but um that's pretty much it that's what I picked up from the Chanel counter and then I went to Victoria's Secret and just picked up a couple of panties but that's pretty much it that's all I got from today's little shopping spree at the mall. Um, actually, it wasn't really a shopping spree. This is a really long vlog, so I hope today, I hope you guys had fun, and let me know if you guys like me to do these um, kind of vlogs. Um, my days usually aren't this exciting, especially because today I did a lot of stuff, but um, yeah, let me know if you guys like this, and I'll try to do more. Thanks for watching. Bye!